Hi, welcome back to Naples Motorsports. I'm Chris Pruitt. Today we're looking at a 2005 Ferrari 360 Spider with the F1 transmission. 2005 was the last year that they produced the 360 Spider, and it is actually uh, believed that there is only 27 cars that were produced as 360s in 2005. So a very, very rare car. When you look at the front end of this car, first and foremost, look at the condition. The condition of this car is impeccable. The car is one of the nicest 360s left on the on the market in the world or anything. This front bumper is in great shape. It's not all chipped up. Underneath the front bumper isn't all scraped up. We do have the challenge grills here in the front bumper. This car has been driven for the past 10 years here in Naples, Florida. Uh, we actually sold it to the previous owner. He was local and he just traded it back to us for a 430 Spider. 8,800 miles on the car, so you could expect it is very, very pristine. But I want to point out, when you look at the wheels here, these are the 18-inch modular wheels. They were uh, the optional wheel from Ferrari. Then we do have the red brake calipers behind there and the Scuderia shields up here on the fenders. All very, very desirable options on a 360. Before we go too far, I want to bring you over and have you look at the dash on this car because the dashboard is absolutely pristine. A lot of what you'll see on 360s is these vents up here at the front will actually start to pop up because the leather will actually shrink and then you'll get a little bubble right in front of that little black piece. And that is a very extensive and very expensive job to repair and it can cost upwards of $4,000. This car does not need any attention there whatsoever. It is already perfect. When you come down the driver's side the rest of the way, there are no door dings, there are no scratches. And even when you look right at this edge, right on the uh, edge of the passenger door, there's no chips or anything like that from opening it into a wall or another car. Before we go too far, I do want to show you this is a complete car. I've got all of the owner's manuals, the leather case they came in, two sets of keys, which is what it came with from the factory, the Ferrari flashlight, the original window sticker, and then I do actually have a service record showing the uh, sticky pieces being repaired, as well as the timing belt service. You can see here at the top, the timing belt service was done 1024 of 14, so just about seven months ago and that was with 8,195 miles. So the car is turnkey, ready to go. Car is very, very nice inside and out, but most importantly, it's up to date on service. When you look over the uh, engine here, we do have the glass. This was the first Ferrari that actually had the glass over the engine and has now become commonplace with the eight cylinder Ferraris. Very, very desirable uh, thing to have and I actually don't sell as many 458 spiders because they've removed the glass so people are going with coupes because they do like to see the engine looking at the driver's side you'll see it's in great condition just like the passenger side no curb rash on any of the wheels the edge of the door is in great shape it's not all chipped up and then we can open the door up we do have the tan interior on here the interiors show more wear on these cars than some of the other cars out there um, in certain areas and we actually go through and try and recondition all of our cars and make sure that they're as nice as they can be. All of these black pieces on the interior will actually get sticky to the touch. All of those have been corrected. Uh, and what I mean by sticky to the touch is that there is actually a, uh, a material that comes off on your hands. And if you're wearing khaki pants like I am today, you would actually get the black material on your khaki pants. The driver's seat is in absolutely pristine condition. It's never had any dye work done or anything like that. And you can see the bolster is just absolutely pristine. These are the power seats. Behind the seats, we have the tan roll bars. This was an additional option. Standard would have been black. When you come around and look at the dashboard from the front, you'll see that neither the passenger or the driver airbag is shrinking or bubbling or anything of that nature. Just a very, very nice car inside and out. If you haven't been to our website, NaplesMotorsports.com, I would recommend you to do so. I have 60 photos of this car listed there. If you have any questions, my name is Chris Pruitt. I'd love to answer them for you. You can reach me directly at 239-216-3830. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you for watching.